Peter Delapena here with player of the match Richie Barrington. Scored his third ODI century in a 111 run win over USA here in Texas at Moose Stadium on second ODI here as part of the Cricket World Cup League 2 Tri Series. Congratulations on the century and the victory. I want to ask you why you've been so successful in this past year. The form you've been in has been incredible, and what's the key to the success? Uh, look, I think obviously there's a you know, there's a lot of hard work that's gone in from this group, uh, particularly the last couple of years. Um, it's been a tricky couple of years with not having a lot of a lot of game time and stuff, and we've had to sort of find different ways to, to keep working on our game and, and keep improving. But I think it's just been that recently we've had a good run of games um, since really the the one day as we played before the World Cup. Um, there's a bit of downtime again after the World Cup, but it's been great just to have knowing you've got a series sort of one after the other, and we've got a couple more after this as well, which is which I think helps. Major source of discussion on the broadcast that went out to the world was playing straight versus playing across the line. You were quite successful compared to some of the other players playing across the line, hitting over mid-wicket. We saw Matthew Cross do that as well early in his innings, some pickup shots over mid-wicket. And Comparatively, USA struggled playing across the line. We saw a number of their players fall to the sweep shot, to Chris Graves, and some other shots across the line. And I think a lot of people want to know what was the key to you playing so successfully with some of those shots playing across the line where USA struggled. Was it just simply a case of the wicket being a bit truer in the first innings and some uneven bounce as the pitch wore along over the course of the day? Or is this some other reason why you were able to connect so well on some of those shots? Uh, yeah, I think certainly the pitch um, maybe started to get a little bit more up and down, but it was still still fairly true um, throughout, I thought. But really it's probably just picking the, the right bowlers. Um, certain bowlers were obviously maybe a little bit skiddy and a bit harder to get under. Um, so yeah, just the, tight, the style of bowler, the pace of the bowler probably, and just the length, um, just being real real certain with that. And obviously, you know, the line's, line's important as well. I think Crossy was excellent up top. Um, those pickup shots he had, that one, that one six he had, was a magnificent shot. So it's just really identifying the right, the right sort of times to do it. I think. What does it mean to you to be the first player to score an ODI century in Texas? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, obviously, yesterday being the first, the first one day, I think in in the USA, uh, it was pretty cool to be part of that as well. Um, but yeah, for us, it's just been a, a really great experience so far, um, and I think importantly, obviously fighting back today and getting that win after yesterday and putting a few things right that we didn't quite quite nail yesterday is the most the most pleasing thing. And one of the things that was so impressive for me and I think for a lot of other people watching, not just the victory but how it happened and your innings in particular on a back-to-back -back day. You rarely see Test Nations play back-to-back -back ODIs, let alone in this kind of heat where it's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit and a lot of humidity making it quite stifling. Today was a little bit cooler not nearly as hot as yesterday, and there was a nice breeze coming across the ground, made it a little bit more manageable, but, but still, big picture, playing back-to-back -back ODIs in these conditions, in this heat, to be able to perform the way that you did personally and collectively as the team, why were you able to be so successful just from a conditioning and fitness standpoint, coming on a back-to-back -to, -back to be able to bounce back and get the victory today? Uh, I think, well, it's something we've had a little bit of experience with previously, so that's probably one thing, but you know, as I said, this, this group's put in a lot of hard work over the last couple of years uh, on fitness in particular. So things like that, you know, obviously start to pay off on in games like this where you have to turn up the next day and you never, you know, it's not going to be easy. Um, but I think it shows a lot of a lot of character, a lot of character from the group to, to bounce back on, as you say, in there playing a playing a back-to-back -back game. You've got two matches left against the UAE. What's the outlook for you personally and the rest of the team with the two matches left here in Texas for you? Uh, yeah, look, obviously we want to try and pick up another two wins. It's really as simple as that. We know it's not going to be easy. You have been in good form recently. They're a good team and they'll know these, these sorts of conditions well. So we know we're going to have to keep getting better as the, as the series goes on. Uh, and yeah, just one game at a time, obviously. But hopefully, yeah, we can get, grab another, another couple of wins if we, if we keep building on that. Anything else you want to say about today's victory? No, just to mention a few people, I think. Um, obviously, as I said before, Crossy was excellent. He just took that pressure off the middle order, gave, gave us a bit of time to, to sort of get in. And then George Munsey again, you know, he's been in, he's been in great form recently um, and he's really, really cashing in at the moment. Hopefully that continues. Um, I think as well, we know we probably could have maybe on another day got a few more at the back end. But 
I thought as well the bowlers in that second half were excellent. Obviously it's one thing getting a score on the board, but we have to back that up. And I thought Safian Sharif, you know, as you were saying, playing back to back games as a seamer, bowling ten yesterday, bowled a few into the breeze there, um, picking up those two early wickets was, was key. So I thought he was excellent and the rest of the guys did a great job. Obviously Chris Greaves making his ODI debut as well, which is pretty pretty special moment for him. And yeah, I thought he bowled bowled well, so that's really good to see moving forward. Richie Barrington, player of the match, after his third ODI century and a victory for Scotland over the USA. Congratulations again. Thanks.